this project itself, um, I went into and I was uh, kind of broadly interested in the idea of Australian culture and subculture. Um, so I spent a year kind of walking around this suburb called The Pines um, and just talking to the people and kind of uh, documenting uh, the people in this kind of community. Um, it ended up kind of uh, narrowing down to the men in this community um, and uh, kind of how uh, the centripetal pull of Australian society kind of holds men in uh, this Australian subculture. It was just kind of uh, one of those days I was walking around and I'd seen this house and um, these eclectic piles of junk outside and I, I just knew I really wanted to take a photo of this kind of place. Um, and I, I saw this guy Zach outside and I, I went up and had a conversation with him. Uh, you know, we talked about, he was working on a car, so we talked about that for a while. And then I just asked him if he'd, you know, like to be a part of this project I'm working on. And he agreed and um, I got him to stand there and yeah, he was a very timid guy, but um, I was so glad he agreed, yeah. Yeah, so that's a separate project, um, but kind of revolving around similar themes um, of like youth in Australian culture. Um, and that's at uh, kind of this notorious uh, cliff jumping spot uh, right near where I grew up. Um, so I've just been going back there and chatting to the guys that throw their bodies off this uh, kind of like very high cliff into a quarry. So yeah. There's always like a fine line because I'm always going to be an, an observer in these situations. Um, but I, I try and get to know the people and I, I like to kind of, um, you know, start with just conversation before I pull my camera out. Um, and then from there I see where it goes and if they're comfortable with being photographed, um, yeah, I, I go for it. Normally start a dialogue first and then if they're comfortable, I'll, I'll go with that. If not, I just say have a nice day and yeah.